Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's go straight into the content because Bitcoin currently is breaking out from this potential rising wedge here. So we could see now this uh, final drop at least towards $10,380 because this is the target in case that this is a valid rising wedge. What we are seeing right now is a possible breakout, but we need also confirmation. So it is very likely that the price is going up again to retest this $10,700. So if you plan to open up a short like I did, then make sure to wait for the confirmation. My short position is opened already here since we had here some bearish divergences in the one hour time frame and also I got some sell signals. So my short is open since yesterday. So if you also want to take this trade, for example, on Bybit or Femex, then open up an account with the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some rewards and also you support the channel because on Bybit, Femex and BTR, there is where you can trade the most and make the biggest gains even with small money. So currently here in the one hour time frame, you can see that we are losing the support from this $10,700. We are also trading below the 50 level in the RSI right now. And we just started here this possible correction, which will take us most likely at least towards this $10,400 area also if you have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are dropping here even below the bottom of the bollinger band and we have macd and kst now shifted to the downside so in the next couple of hours i'm expecting continuation to the downside and uh, the thing is that here the stochastic is already in oversold condition so we could maybe see another bounce to the upside to retest ten thousand seven hundred dollar but if we are getting rejected again here in this area then make sure to take this little short opportunity and make Make some gains on the way down and if we go over now to the DXY what we can see here is exactly the opposite we are exactly bouncing at this blue trend line here I didn't change this line yet so this 93 40 dollar level is very important for the DXY in order to continue this possible push here towards the resistance of 94 40. So let's see if the DXY is able to push further on here. You can see that we had now a little pump and that's why also Bitcoin is having this little dump right now because here in the DXY we had exactly the opposite here. We had a buy signal and also bullish divergence. And now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because here currently we are testing the 20 moving average right here at 10,620. So if somewhere we should see a bounce then right here. If we're closing now this four hour candle below the 20 moving average then this is almost confirmed that we will go lower towards $10,000. $400 but here at the 200 moving average at 10,600 I'm expecting some bounces here at least for the short term where we could see maybe a retest of 10,700 then continue to trade lower but we will for sure go down to fill also the CME gap that we have down here 10,620 this CME gap is very new and in my opinion we will go to fill it pretty soon and if you look also here into the RSI, you can see that we are testing here the 50 level. So we are in a critical point. If here we're going to lose the 50 level in the RSI and also close a four hour candle below, then this will initiate the possible correction down to those levels. And if we have a big bounce from it, then we could be in here for a possible retest even again towards $11,000 before maybe we are seeing a correction. But since it looks like that we are breaking out to the downside right now and also I'm getting some sell signals here in the four hour time frame, I think it is almost confirmed that we will go lower now. And also as you can see here in the DXY, you see that we're having a nice little bounce from the 200 moving average. We have a buy signal and also a bullish divergence. So here the DXY is looking like it wants to go higher again. And that of course will lead into a correction in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, you can see that currently we are trading right in the middle line here. So if here we're gonna lose this 10,650 support, prepare to see a possible sell off towards 10,480. This is my target, at least here for the short term to be reached if we're gonna see continuation in the next couple of hours. Because here also the stochastic is now shifted to the downside. MACD and KST are still looking bullish, even though if we will continue to trade in this price range here and not go 
higher then here we're gonna see very soon a bearish cross and I think as soon as they will cross here we're gonna see uh, this possible sell-off at least down to close all the CME gap that we have at $10,600 and now let's open up the daily time frame because here we are still trading right along the 20 daily moving average we still didn't see here a breakout to the upside or to the downside from this consolidation wedge that we are in currently so the main support is still here at $10,180 and the main resistance here at $11,200 so I still think there is a high chance that we will bounce here around up and down before we're gonna see a clear breakout but the breakout will happen pretty soon because we have everything here in the daily flattening out even the RSI is right at the 50 level my own indicator is just giving buy and sell signals all the time so we are waiting here for a big move and since we still have some bearish signs in the short time frames and although the CME gaps below of us I still think we have to go first another time down before we're gearing up for a big parabolic run again to the upside here in the Bollinger Band also you can see that we are right in the middle line so we are still waiting here for a decisive big move to the upside or downside we are still flat here KST MACD as well stochastic now is shifted to the upside since we had these little bounces here the last couple of days but as you can see we are retracing back down here into the middle line so we didn't even come up here to test the top at $11,100 so far everything is still possible I just think that we have to wait here for a clear breakout from this consolidation wedge that we are in here and also if we compare it to the DXY you can see that here currently we are trading between the 20 and 50 daily moving average and I still think that there is a high chance that maybe we could go up here to test even the 200 daily moving average but therefore we have to break this huge resistance here at 94.50 and this is the only last step that the DXY has to do in order to go parabolic here to test the 200 daily moving average and that of course could lead into a big crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price but as long as as we are staying within this bullish pattern here this falling wedge the DXY will continue to fall here and of course the Bitcoin price will rise up and we are still waiting here for a breakout in theory we should break out here to the upside but since we are looking a bit toppy here right now also the RSI is right at the 50 level and I got here also a sell signal when we topped out here at 94.90 there is also a small chance that maybe we could even break out here to the downside and that of course would lead into a big run up in the stock market prices and also in the Bitcoin price so if here the DXY is gonna break out to the downside if it's so weak that it's not even able to break out to the upside from a bullish pattern then I think we will have a very strong bull run here in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market so we still have to wait here in the daily time frame where Bitcoin is breaking out and also where the DXY is going to break out from this uh, pattern and as long as the DXY is staying in this falling wedge and also Bitcoin is staying in this consolidation wedge right here I think we will just have some pump and dumps here between the support and resistance before we're gonna have a huge breakout and now let's have a final look also also into the weekly time frame because currently we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which is right here that was support of $10,200 we have the RSI still above the 50 level so everything is still looking very bullish here even if we would week below the 20 weekly the 50 weekly is right here at our important support at around $9,000 and this is still where I think we could go down to test and confirm the support down here so far we didn't go to test it but I still think it's very likely to come here at least for the short to midterm and if we go over here into the Bollinger Band you can also see that we are right here between these two moving averages and as long as we are staying and closing weekly candles above 10,270 everything is good to go to the upside but and this is a big but if we're gonna lose here this middle line and close weekly candles again below 10,270 or even worse close weekly candles below 10k this could lead into a bigger sell off maybe even way lower than $9,000 because here the bottom of the Bollinger Band is at 8,400 and we're just having right now a bearish cross in the MACD and also in the KST so this could lead into a bigger sell off the only good thing here is that we have currently the stochastic 
oversold. So in theory, we should see here a possible bounce again to the upside and also the RSI is still looking bullish, but MACD and KSD are a bit concerning. And also if this moving average that you see here, this uh, yellow line is gonna cross the middle line, this could also lead into a possible big correction. Also in the past, every time that this moving average went below the middle line, we had a massive sell-off. Here in March, of course, this was an unexpected big dump here and a fast recovery. But here, for example, as you can see, once we had this bearish cross, the price dumped and then we traded here in the lower end of the Bollinger Band for a couple of weeks. And that's why I think if here we're gonna have a bearish cross, so if this moving average is coming below the middle line, we may gonna enter in some bearish week so maybe there we're gonna have several weeks trading in the lower end of the Bollinger Band and in that case we would stay between ten thousand to eight thousand five hundred dollar for a couple of weeks before maybe then we're gonna again break out to the upside and retest the old highs here at around twelve thousand dollar but this is all what we have to see in the next couple of weeks for now I still expect here some weeks to the downside and they still expect 9k to be reached pretty soon and there we have to see if we're gonna have a huge bounce to the upside if the bulls are coming in and buying up this dip or not because if it's not gonna be a fast bounce to the upside then most likely we're gonna stay for a couple of weeks down in this area here between 9,000 to 8,000 dollar before we're gearing up again for a big move to the upside above 10k so and that's why guys I am keep telling you be prepared for all scenarios no one can predict the future but if you are ready to buy in once we're gonna see a major correction to the downside then you should be doing fine and you can DCA back into Bitcoin but also if we are starting to moon from here if you're breaking out here to the upside and go and retest maybe 20k in the next couple of days then make sure that you will not need to FOMO in later when the price is starting to go parabolic make sure that you already have your HODL portfolio ready in case that Bitcoin here is gonna break out to the upside and will never visit 10k again. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe here to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also make sure to participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. The subscription video is popping up at the end of this video. And please, of course, always moon up the likes when you see my videos. Thank you very much, my friends, for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.